I just wanted to share this really quick. So this is the Raspberry Pi touchscreen and it is connected to a Raspberry Pi 4. <clears throat> so you can see here on the back, the Raspberry Pi is mounted to the back of this and this board is part of the touch screen underneath and the, the top board here obviously is the Raspberry Pi, it has a, a few heat sinks on it and um, yeah so this is the, the display, I'll, I'll switch it around to the back again in a sec but just to show you what the display looks like so it, it is a touch screen, you can like tap on the menu like that Oops. and uh, you know select things from the menu, stuff like that, it's pretty good um, not it's it's almost as responsive as a as a phone like an Android or a you know a, an iPhone or something, but um, yeah, certain things aren't as yeah it's not quite as responsive, but it's okay. You can drag Windows around like this and work with it. And I think um, yeah I think the reflection on this is kind of messing up the video a little bit. Uh, there we go. Focus that a little bit, and yeah, you can see me in the background there, in the reflection of the screen. Um, any case, yeah, so tapping on this X, like you have to really hit it just right. So it's a little bit, it's do it's not bad once you get used to it. The first time I tried to close one of these, I was like, how do you tap on it? It's, it's a little bit more forgiving using like a, an, an iPhone or a Android phone, but uh, yeah, this is still pretty good. And you can drag around Windows and do stuff. The one thing it doesn't, yeah, see, tapping it a few times. Um, yeah, one thing it doesn't have, um, I'm not sure about the on-screen keyboard. I don't see anything obvious in here. There might be something. I'm sure there's a solution for that. But, um, but uh, yeah, anyways, this basically replaces the mouse. And, yeah, I don't know why I, I just cannot. Yeah, anything really small, it's hard to just tap in one tiny spot. Um, for, for me, anyways, maybe it's just my fingers. But, um yeah, in, in, anyways, so as far as the keyboard, I'm sure there's an on-screen keyboard solution, but there isn't, by default, there's no keyboard that just pops up like on, on Android or, or Apple devices. So um, you would want like a separate keyboard or you, you'd want to add on a solution for that. I haven't investigated that yet. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I can't really demo that in this video, um, but I'll see where I go with that. I'm probably going to want something for that. Um, either something physical or, or figure out an on-screen thing. I kind of like physical keyboards better. If you wanted to keep this small as a tablet, you'd need something on-screen. You can also run Android on this, which will have an, uh, will have an on-screen keyboard. So right now I'm r running Raspberry Pi OS or, you know, like the new version of Raspbian. But, um, but yeah, so that, that's what comes with this. So the, with this touch screen, if you were running Android, that would not be an issue. In any case, um, yeah, so this is the Raspberry Pi in the back here. Uh, I'm powering the Pi through this USB-C cable, and you can, you can see I have this little ribbon cable connecting the Pi to the display, you know, coming from the DSi connector here. And you can see there's, um, so the display itself is getting powered from the Raspberry Pi. So from these pins here, I have a couple cables going around to the display, and that is how it's being powered. Um, so you can, I believe, power it from this uh, this uh, little USB port here. And yeah, my camera does not like to automatically focus on what I want. There's another USB plug here. I don't recall what it's for, but I don't have any intention of using it. Yeah, that's built into the display. But um, yeah. Anyways, that's that's a, that's about it. Basically, you connect the Raspberry Pi. You don't have to connect it on the back. If you wanted this to be more flat, you could you know, you could connect it somewhere else, but you would then have to figure out a way to uh, attach it or, or fix it in place or whatever. But yeah, the easy solution um, for, for now, since I don't need to, I'm not trying to make this into a tablet or anything, um, was just to connect it with these uh, standoff things here. So anyways, that that's, that's basically how that connects. Um, you could rearrange it however you want. That's what it looks like on the back. The, the screen does not include the Raspberry Pi. You buy them separate. Um, any case, yeah, and this is, yeah, so this is the front, this is the back, and that's about it. You want to know where you can pick this up? Check the link in the description of this video. I'm going to have a link to, like, Amazon or somewhere else. So, uh, you know, definitely check that out. And also, you know, you might want to hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button. You don't want to miss out on our other great content. We do a lot of great stuff, electronics, Raspberry Pis, 3D printing, servers, Linux, Windows, Mac OS, 
coding, um, all, all sorts of terrific stuff you're not going to want to miss out on. So make sure you subscribe. Um, leave a comment down below if you know something I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely if you want to pick this up, check the link in the description. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on that next video.